So I'm in the new Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, what they've done is uh, tried to create a, a recreation of the entire world. Um, what they've started by taking a whole bunch of satellite images from Bing Maps, and where there is a building or a tree, they've tried to extrapolate that picture into a 3D model. Um, so basically, there is the, the whole world is in Microsoft Flight Simulator. You can fly from uh, New York to um, to RF Waddington, which is where I'm taking off from now. And where this gets really interesting, um, a lot of the kind of sites that you'd expect to see are in there. So I, I've managed to find my house. Um, and a lot of the cities that you know, the roads are in the right place, the buildings are roughly in the right place, they might not all look right, but they're there, they're generally the right shape because it's been extrapolated from those satellite images. So let's say here I'm, I'm taking off from RF Waddington, and we can see it's Waddington because, and this is one of the limitations of the, um, the way that they're generating these buildings, you can see the Nimrod's parts down below. But because it can't figure out what that plane is, uh, it's kind of turned it into some sort of funky street art and it's just kind of spray painted onto the ground. But again, all the lakes are roughly in the right place, rivers, roads, fields, and they're all basically the right color and position and shape and size. Even the weather and kind of lighting and time of day is mapped to the real world. Um, so I'm flying out of Waddington on uh, kind of normally heading. And directly ahead of me, you can see Lincoln. So what I'm going to try and do is fly around and see if I can find the university. Um, so as I'm coming forward, you can start seeing uh, the River Witham. It's kind of moving off down and away. You can see... Yeah, I think we're starting to see a bit of the Brayford Pool. Um, so straight ahead of me just now, um, you can see the new Bypass Road Bridge. Um, so in a second, I'll be getting quite close. And yeah, there we are. So you can just about see the Brayford Pool directly ahead of me now. So I'm going to slow down the engines a little bit, take it to about quarter of the current speed and I drop the flaps a little bit just so uh, I can fly a little bit slower so as I come down I'm going to try and come for a relatively low pass you can see just above my wing on the left um, the Isaac Newton building and again not all the buildings look exactly right because they are extrapolated from that flat image but it's pretty good um, so just below me now I've got Sarah Swift and you can see David Chiddick there as well. Again, down the Brayford Pool, you can see where the narrowboats are, but again, it doesn't know how to interpret those. So you've got this kind of like street art. We've got Minerva to the left. Again, not exactly right, but right size, right position. And uh, the Alfred Tennyson building. And that's the road bridge there. So that was a quick fly past. I'm just going to, again, try and slow down a little bit more. And we'll come around for another pass. So on the left, you can quite clearly see the outline of the student halls and the, the parking. Um, that's the sports field just there again on the left. And down here, we've got the pond and the, the kind of iconic shape of the Isaac Newton building. And we've got the architecture building to the left. And as we go down here, we can even see the library, which is the building I'm coming to now. And the engine shed, I'm just flying over on my left. And that's Sarah Swift. Again, pull up, try not to crash into Sarah Swift. Um, I don't imagine Duncan would be wildly pleased about that. Again, on this side of the Brayford Pool, 
that's where the Wagamamas would be. Again, that bit of kind of street art. We've got the restaurants to the right. Um, this is where uh, the Hilton would be. And again, we've got the road bridge. So if we follow the, the road down, try not to crash into those buildings. Um, we're now flying down Tritton Road. Uh, this is the roundabout, obviously the tank down there. And off to our right uh, with this big car park, that would be B&Q. And this would be Morrison's that we're coming up to here. Uh, we're now flying down Tritton Road. So I'm going to try and get a little bit of height so we can just see the area a little bit better. Um, and again, you can start seeing really what um, how much detail is in this. Uh, obviously, we've got the big retail park down here. And there really is just such a huge amount of detail. So slowing down a little bit, we've got a right now, and this will take us down Skellingfort Road. So there's the uh, level crossing. So now we're flying down Skellingfort Road. There's the playing field to the right. And if I pull up a little bit, we should be able to see Hartsome. This is Hartsome Lake. So um, I'm going to end this here. I'm just really curious as to whether I can uh, land this little seaplane on Hartsome Lake. So I'm going to give that a go. It's going to turn around for a... Oh, am I going to hit the trees? So <laughs> that's how it ended. Um, but yeah, loads of detail. I can see the university really quite clearly. And um, yeah, it's Microsoft Flight Simulator.